Hey guys, what's up? It's been like a long time since I've last uploaded. A lot's changed. I got a new microphone. I got a webcam. But yeah, anyway, I'm starting a new Python series today, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Python. Okay, so Python's pretty easy to install. Uh, you can do it multiple ways, but the way I'm going to be showing you guys uh, today is you're going to be downloading it from your browser. So first things first, uh, you want to open up your browser and you want to go to python.org. And I'll have that in the description below. So once you're at Python, uh, their website, you want to go down to downloads and go over to the little box that says Python 3.1. And by the time you watch this video, it may be in a later version, but it'll automatically select the most current version and the correct operating system for you. So now you want to click the click the little box and it'll greet you with a little prompt and ask you to save the file. Now, uh, I've already saved the file, so I'm not going to do it again. So once you save the file, you want to go up to your most current downloads and you want to click on the python 3.1.exe or whatever version it's in. So uh, once you click on that uh, download, this is the installer. So it'll say install now and you want to click that. Okay, so now it's done installing, and I just remembered something else I forgot to say. Uh, this in installation works both for PC and Mac, so it's pretty much just the exact same setup. Uh, I'm just doing it on uh, PC. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, if you want to actually use uh, your Python or like write some code, uh, basically what you want to do is you want to go to idle Python and you want to hit enter and then it'll bring up this little shell for you. So this shell is basically where your programs will run. And so like if you had like a, a basic program where you had to print something out, this is where it would be. Or if you had a program where you could interact with it, maybe type something out, this is where it would be. So if you want to actually write some code or like write your program, you want to click on file and then click on new file. So this is the this is the part where you're actually going to get to write your code in. So uh, this is a blank shell and uh, you can uh, write Python in here. And then once you're done writing uh, your code, if you were to, you want to click save as and then it'll uh, greet you with another prompt and ask you to save it as a dot python click save and that's pretty much it then if you want to run your program then you just click the little run but button and you just have to have your program saved and then click run and then it will run on this other little shell so yeah that's pretty much all there is to installing python and another thing uh, is when you see me uh, coding in Python, I usually do it in a program called Visual Studios. And so what this is, is it's called a text editor. And a text editor basically just allows you to uh, code in multiple different languages. So I can just switch from JavaScript to Python to C++ and then I also have um, all my files here that I can just swap between make new files it's just a more organized uh, more organized program for if you're writing more like um, longer programs so yeah uh, I may show how to set that up in the future but for now if you're just writing Python this is all you'll need so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next video